So here we are. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. It's um, July. It's June twenty fourth, Friday, June twenty fourth, and I'll start with my. This is just here. We have a little garden here. It's kind of um, to the side. I have my son here. My son is helping me unpack a table. I'm gonna put out a table. Um, but here I have some nasturtium. All right, we put a rock border. Max and his his friend put a rock border out here last week. And here's my nasturtium really coming up nicely. We we dug out a little bit from last year. We kind of took it out a little bit. Um, to put to give the hostas a little more space because the hostas do really well here. Um, you can see all along the whole front of the garden, they do really well. So, um, we've got that going on. Here I have some dailies. Here I have my tomatoes. I put well, these are some of my tomatoes. I have some tomatoes here, here. And I've been really pruning my tomatoes this year. And then we have some beautiful roses. That's a new rose bush we put in this year. Here I have some, some I don't know if you can see the mushrooms in there. Um, that apparently is a very healing mushroom that I have little knowledge of and I'm gonna have to, I can make a tincture out of it. So I'll be doing that next year if we get them. Um, I love these, these are my pollinator. They're falling down, I have to find some way I have to buy something to keep them up. Um, but they're so pretty and they're a little bit past their flowering stage, but they're still so pretty. And they were so pretty with the, they bloom at the same time as the peonies. And so I was using them and now they kind of put off this smell that is not that great that I would necessarily want in the house, but they definitely, I love that they attract the pollinate, they, the bees. Also, this is gonna be filled. This is goldenrod and it's going to, in another month or so, it's going to be super tall and, and filled with bees. And here in this, my little vase here, I have, I planted, I transplanted um, some wildflowers. So there's going to be, they're going to be, I'm going to put this in the front of the house. I have some coleus growing here and these are larkspur and snapdragons. So they're going to, I'm going to move them to the front of the house. Um, Here's the goldenrod. Here was some iris that bloomed just a short while ago. We have some hydrangea that looks like it's also just got a water. Oh my God, I gotta get back here with the water. Um, and here's our hostas. This one here is an amazing, amazing hosta. So powerful, so like, oh my God, it's been here forever. Last year it didn't get eaten by bugs. It's covered in bugs right now, but they don't seem to be eating it, which is really nice. And we, as you can see, we live very close to like a long, a big meadow. And we do see deer in here, but we haven't gotten deer eating, nibbling at anything. Here's some flowering plants. I can't remember what these are. These are my husband put these in here. Here's our greenhouse. And these are, unfortunately, these are our microgreens that have, that are like over, that are too big, that are growing too big. Um, and I need to get some more lettuce. I have here some more flowers growing. I need to get more lettuce in here and more potatoes. I need to really start planting some potatoes. And these, look at the difference. I just want to show you. These are nasturtium. Remember the, the nasturtium I was just showing you in the front yard? Look at how being in a greenhouse just enhances growth and look at how these things are thriving. They're just absolutely amazing. I'm gonna actually move them into the front of the house so they get a little more sunlight. But you can really see how, um, how greenhouses can extend life's, you know, growth, growth uh, span. And here we are in the back. These are um, so I'm doing this new thing this year where I'm composting in place. And that means that we get these weeds that come up. They're like super, they're like aliens. We joke that they're like aliens. They're so powerful. Um, they're like these weed, these vines that just grow up and they take over everything and they're really hard to pull out. But 
Um, we're also just taking the grass that we cut every week and we put it on the ground and um, it creates kind of like, and we also get a ton of pine needles from this tree here and it just falls into the garden and that creates a really soft bedding and a compost. So that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna grow compost. So I just pull the weeds, as you can see, right? I just pull them and then I just actually just lay them right on top of, um, right on top and this will help over time while we step on it and it's, oh, it's really hot today. I can really feel that we need to water. It's amazing. It has been so um, cool and rainy, but anyway, enough of that. These are my tomatoes. You can take a look at the tomatoes. They're doing really well. I've been really good at pruning this year. Some of them are getting super tall. You can see they just love the sun and they like it here. So we're gonna have lots and lots of tomatoes. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 tomato plants then we have here this is eggplant so this will be interesting and here we have our lettuce lots and lots of lettuce and here we have our peppers you can see right I have um, look how big already getting so big peppers are doing really well last year we didn't get any peppers this one's not doing so great but we get one two three I already picked one here we have our cucumbers. Cucumbers are looking pretty good. And then we have zucchini over here. Here's our peony. There's a few peonies to left. And our beautiful back garden. Our neighbors were away for a few weeks so they didn't mow the lawn. So the grass has gotten really high. And here we have our potatoes. We have we did potatoes and containers this year. So I'm really excited about this and we'll we'll definitely do, you know, an unpacking of the potatoes. Look at that beautiful tree. Absolutely love it. It's a beautiful, perfect Vermont day. So thanks for watching. See you on the other side.